Located in southeastern Brazil, Rio feels as if it were cut from the jungle and is actively being reclaimed by it. The rainforest that surrounds the city, Tijuca, is one of the largest urban forests in the world, and the beautiful city sidewalks here, patterned in black and white mosaics, are often dark and crowded with ficus and cannonball trees. Sitting over Guanabara Bay is one of Rio's great attractions, Sugarloaf Mountain, a granite and quartz monolith that rises nearly 1,300 feet straight up. Christ the Redeemer is Rio's other primary mountaintop destination and is an iconic feature of Rio's skyline. This Art Deco Jesus, finished in 1931, towers nearly 130 feet from its base and with outstretched arms, stands as maybe the most recognizable Catholic symbol in the Western Hemisphere. At Copacabana, Leblon, Ipanema, this is where you'll find the heart and soul of Rio. These beaches are huge, running miles down Rio's edges. Here you'll find Cariocas, the nickname for Rio's citizens, of all ages and types. Last but not least, we have Hippodromo de Gavia itself, which has to rate among the world's most picturesque tracks. It sits under Corcovado Mountain, and so at any point, day or night, an illuminated Christ the Redeemer looms over the head of the stretch. Built in 1926, the track was reportedly designed by a French architect and modeled after the old Longchamp in Paris, with four stately grandstands that can seat up to 3,000. A broad apron ensures room for some 77,000 more. The racing is good, and as shown by the likes of Balo Valley and Gloria de Campio, capable of turning out a world-class horse.